By early 1964, ILC and Hamilton were sending a stream of completed suits to NASA in Houston. Tom Harala was entrusted with their delivery. And I drove it to my hotel, and then I had to take it out of my car, and I had to bring it into my room and keep it in my room overnight to make sure that no one could tamper with it, steal it, or whatever it was, because it was classified confidential. It's also worth probably a pretty penny. So yeah, the first suit I delivered to NASA, I slept with it. It wasn't very enjoyable either. Almost immediately, NASA began to reject them. They were bulky. They were tough to move around in. They were tough to wear. They were heavy. And so the customer wasn't very happy about them. They expected to see much more progress. One of the tests was in an aircraft that was used to simulate lunar gravity. You had to be able to fall on your back like a turtle and then successfully get back up without any assistance. Unfortunately, the new design spacesuit wasn't able to do that. There are laws of physics that say you can't do certain things. As the difficulties mounted, the long suppressed differences between Hamilton and ILC bubbled to the surface. Hamilton Standard would come down to our facility and try to tell us how to build suits, and they thought they were helping us, but there was more turmoil involved in this process than needed to be. Our companies had totally different types of personalities in terms of how, how we dealt with products and how we dealt with the paperwork that supported the product. Here we are trying to build a suit that the industry would find acceptable, and it, and it just wasn't working. It was a very poor marriage, and it just didn't work. 